Aloha, my name is Jeff Peterson. Welcome to beautiful Olinda, Maui. This is my backyard. I'd like to invite you to my home to share with you the tradition of Hawaiian slack key guitar. Slack key is an incredible tradition that traces all the way back to the 1830s here in Hawaii and it actually came from Spanish and Mexican cowboys, they're called vaqueros. They came into the Big Island uh, to help the Hawaiians manage the cattle population up there. And cattle was brought into Hawaii given as a gift to King Kamehameha the Great and he actually placed a kapu on the cattle so you couldn't harm the cattle, the herds just roamed wild and perfect setting on the Big Island if you've been to Waimea. Beautiful open pasture lands and before you know it the population was huge so it got out of control. They had to bring in some cowboys to teach the Hawaiians the art of ranching and it's developed into the Paniolo tradition. So that's where guitars first came to Hawaii and the Hawaiians took the guitars, experimented with tunings, changing the tunings from the traditional Spanish tuning and came up with these sounds that really reflect the lifestyle, the culture, the nature of the Hawaiian people here in Hawaii. There's something about the openness. If I just hit the open strings, it's this lush, beautiful chord. If you do that in standard tuning, it doesn't sound like a chord. So that's what gives it that open nature, is this tuning. Then it's, a lot of this music is like a folk tradition. There's theme and variation. And some of the rhythmic patterns and the textures imitate the Hawaiian chants. and also a very connected legato sound. I'm leaving my fingers down the whole time. So one note carries right into the next note. Then over time, more advanced techniques. These sort of things develop. But the bass line is always there, that heartbeat. Harmonics. The Hawaiians call those chimes. And barring from the Spanish strumming, sometimes the bass player gets a little solo. So it's an improvised style. You can just kind of play how you feel in the moment. That's the essence of Slack.
my father is a retired Paniolo, Hawaiian cowboy. So I was surrounded by music when I was growing up, and it wasn't recorded music, it was live music. And I think that had such an incredible impression on me, hearing real live music. And what we do, we go up the mountain here, there's a little cabin up on the ranch, it's called the Peanut House. And so we'd ride horseback up there. Uh, my dad sometimes would pack a guitar right on the horse. So they'd get there, they'd start a fire, because it's pretty chilly up on the mountain. That's about 3,000 foot elevation. And uh, they'd put some food on. Before you know it, the instruments would come out. And I was just tiny, but I'd sit there at their, you know, their feet, basically, and, and watch my dad play with his friends. So that's what got me inspired, and I just started experimenting. It's very important to me as someone practicing a cultural tradition here in Hawaii is to always have a connection to the past and the kupuna, those who came before. And so whenever I play or I do an arrangement of a song, I'll keep in mind where the music came from before me. And as long as you have that connection with the kupuna and the people who came before, I think that the music can move forward in a way that's still culturally rooted. Thank you.